lately I've just been I've been trying to uh, I've been trying to really clean up the diet the last couple weeks and then just something I want to kind of make a, a push for in 2020. I've never really done it too like excessively, so I want to see how big of a difference it's going to make when I stick to it. Maybe before the little stuff didn't make that much of a difference, but I feel like now for me to keep moving forward, I need to really commit in pretty much every single way. So I'm just trying to do everything I can. <laughs> Eastbourne felt like a big weight off my shoulders. I made a 250 final when I was like just turned 18. And so I knew for so long that I could win a 250 title. I just wanted one so bad. So to finally get that, it just like, it felt so good, you know? And I felt great and, you know, I played a really good match. It's funny because, you know, when they had me hold the trophy of the tournament, it was actually like a really big trophy. I, th I thought maybe I was gonna get the, the big one, but it makes sense that the, the, the two trophies wouldn't be so different. Right now we're headed to Carson, to the USGA Training Center to uh, start my day off, and it's where I'll be most of the day. Right now we're walking into the velodrome where the USTA gym is kind of in the center of it. So we're just gonna go there and I'm gonna get my first uh, workout in. Welcome to preseason. There you go, good shin angle. Hi. There you go, he'll stay down. Quick through. When he's given details that he needs to have, he tries to hit them like that. If he feels like that wasn't a good rep, you're going again. He's not gonna let you say like that was good. He's gonna do one more. Keep that torso still. Hips stay high. Out of way, shoulders and legs all the way up. Out of way. Last one. Go, go, go. D cell down, one more, same thing, and we're going in. Go. Yep. Knee drive, keep that posture. Spin it, there you go. Right back, first couple push. There you go. Yeah, keep that posture, nice and low. There we go. Coming right back, two and one. So he's got a weight vest on, extra 20, 25 pounds. He's trying to push himself preseason. Watch that posture, get that knee drive. Toes are up, big outward circles. Keep that posture. Nice. Up and over, transfer that energy down. There we are. That way, quick out of the corner, quick touch and go. Ready? Drive it through, drive it through. Three, two, hard as you've got. Transfer that energy, top to bottom. There it is, Chris. Nice knee drive, knee drive, knee drive. Three, two, one, last one. Very nice. Nice shot, Fritz. Thank you. Preseason, really heavy training, a lot of uh, hard days in the gym. They're in twice, twice a day. They're hitting as well. So midweek, we like to kind of break it up, get a little bit of active recovery in. So one thing that the guys like to do, ultimate Frisbee. We're having some fun. I don't want you're watching to think this is what I do for fitness, but it's tiring and it's just like a fun way to kind of break up the week. Gotta keep moving, get open. It's just great to have Paul and David Nankin with me, ready to get better. It's good to break it up and it's good they can both be at my practices to see what they're working on. They communicate great with each other and we're more of a team. So Taylor, we're gonna work on some fun stuff today. Good depth, good solid contact, good footwork. Don't let the ball drop if it's short. 
So 2020 is really about growth, you know, laying the seeds to grow and then sprinkling some great gold dust on it and watch it grow. Good T. Every ball in the strike zone. Up, up, up. So here's what we're gonna do. You can go down the line. If it's not good enough to be a winner, then there's no point for either player. Great ball. We're working on his transitional game, recognizing opportunities where he could come forward a little more, how to utilize his powerful ground stroke to finish some points up at the net. Good, 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 good close. footwork. Good. There you go. Great face. Get up, get, get up, up, get up. Get up. And back in. Come, come on, come on. There we go. Team. A little more footwork. That's better. Way to get down a little better. You know, when I hit a good ground stroke or a big ground stroke, especially against the top guys that just move so well. It's important to be able to get in the net and finish the point. Sense of urgency with your feet. Good. Going into the off season, it's like, for me, it's just the time to do everything right and make the most of every single day, like to get better and train because everyone else is doing it, so you know, I think my mindset every morning is to just train as hard as I possibly can, and so when I get done that day, I can believe that I outworked everyone else. Just feel like I'm nowhere near where I, where I want to be or where I should be, so I want to keep wanting to get better, wanting to beat more people, wanting to be higher ranked.